Mia? So, what did you buy today? Okay, and so you're a medical patient and you're using this kind of for some different aches and pains that you have. And so, what do you want to do now? You want to test it to see if you got what you paid for and if it's the ratio of CBD to THC that she's after. So she's using this for pain and she specifically wanted a one-to-one -one ratio of CBD to THC in the flower, which is actually what we have here and she was able to find and buy, which is kind of a rare flower. So we actually want to verify if that's truly what this is. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to walk you guys through the steps of using the light lab, and I want to sh I want you to show I want to show you how for someone who's truly done this for the first time, they're actually able to follow along and, and to kind of do it without too much trouble and actually kind of have fun with the process. So would you press the on button? All right. So all right. So our lovely assistant here, Nia, is going to show you all how to test this flower using the light lab. So she already turned the button on here, and the machine will start up and it, you know, does an electronics and a detector tech uh, check, checks Bluetooth, things like that, make sure all the make sure all the technology is working. And now it presents her with a message here. And can you read what it says? Please ensure that all fluid lines are connected and that the column is in place before proceeding. Please ensure that all fluid lines are connected and that the column is in place. Okay. So to do the fluid line connections, go ahead and unscrew this cap, just be careful doing it, and that is your solvent, okay, that's going to be the fluid that dissolves, right, the material that we're testing in is the carrier through the system. And right, now unscrew this bottle too, and so this is basically a closed circuit, so it's going to go from the solvent bottle into the system, and this is going to be the waste bottle, alright, so we're going to go ahead and put our caps on, okay, so go ahead and grab that, alright, and so these are going to go right here. Alright, so screw this on to the solvent. Alright, and the way you know, okay, how or what, what lid to screw on to these bottles is that this second port right here goes on your solvent bottle because you're going to be using a syringe to draw solvent out to dissolve some of the samples in. So that's, this is the, uh, the syringe port. So that's how we know, and that's why we put that lid on this bottle. Okay, so go ahead and put that lid onto the waste bottle. Very cool, right? Science at work. So, these lines, all right, are gonna connect our bottles, all right? So this is pretty neat, right? So this would be the male end, right, into the female receptacle. So go ahead and do that, since I want you to just show people how easy it is. Even with those fingernails, which are way cooler than what I have here. Can't keep up with you guys. All right, so now take these, and so go ahead and put these female ones under these male ones. Nice. Perfect. Okay. And so, what is the last step? What do we, we have not done yet? In, it's in that message. Make sure the column is in place. Perfect. Okay. So you're going to gently pull up on this. Nice. And then in here. Oh yeah, look at this. Very handy. It even has a little lid on it. So go ahead and pull that up. All right, so there's your column. Just take the end caps off. Sorry, we'll do it next time. So yeah, just gently seat that in there. Perfect. You can just uh, push it a little bit tighter. Just gotta line it up so it's a little bit off center. There you go. Good job. All right. So, do you concur that we are ready to start the warm up? Press the button. All right, Dr. D and Nia back. So we just finished the startup or in the warm up, right? So that flushed the lines, and calibrated the parasulfate pump, and flushed the column. And now the next step is what, Nia? What does the wonderful light lab tell us? Select sample type. All right. What are you gonna What are you gonna press? There's two buttons. Flower or aspirin. And what are you testing, young lady? Flower. Flower, right? So go ahead and select flower. Okay. Ah, so this is actually a great learning pearl here for a learning point. So the machine is telling us to replace the column. So every column has been calibrated to be good for about 25 tests before we put in a new silica column, right? And the machine has now said, hey, put in a new column. You know, it's counting, it's using its brain. 
So would you go ahead and swap out our new column, which we carry right here, and replace the old one? Uh, so go ahead and do that. So lift this up. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Just pull it up. There you go. Thank you. And then put this new one in. Ah, oh, you got those nails. It's a little tougher here. Let me assist with my... Oh, you got it. Good job. Alright. So just like we did practice earlier. Line it up. Perfect. Alright. So go ahead and click um, replace column. There you go. Uh, so we did that, okay, so you can go press next. This is just guiding us through these steps we just did, all right? Go ahead and press same thing, all right? And so it's going to flush the system again, and we'll be back in about 1 minute and 30 seconds. Bada bing, all right, and so we're back after that minute and 30 second cycle here. And what does the machine tell you to do next, Nia? Enter tab for the sample. All right, so just go ahead and click the sample ID, all right? And so that's going to now let you put in a name that will then be what this machine records this sample as onto its SD card, its memory chip. So the neat part about the Light Lab is every test you run, you can you know, tag with a name, right, or who ran it and the date, and that was stored into the card, right? So you can actually track, you know, maybe it's a, the same plant you're testing over and over again, or maybe it's the same strain and you want to go look at all the different you know, cannabinoid profiles from all the strains that people told you were, you know, sour diesel or whatnot. Uh, so let's just name this one um, one to one, right? Because that's what this flower was labeled as. So I go ahead and just put one. And then is there a colon? Is it that? One. one. And then you go ahead and press save. Perfect. Okay, so go ahead and press the next button. There. Right there. Perfect. Okay. So what does it say, tell you to do now? Step one, use grinder to prepare at least 100 milligrams of sample. Perfect. Okay, so what Nia has actually already done for us is she used this lovely grinder here, okay, and she took, hold that for us, she took some of this wonderful flour, okay, right here, and she ground it up for us. So we have some already in this file tab, and let's go ahead and move on to the next step so people just uh, can see the whole process without having to take too long. All right, so now you're going to take this wonderful scale, right? What does it tell you? Read that out loud for everyone. Step two, click file, file, scale, rest. Perfect, all right. So we're going to grab one of our files. All right, and so this is your file, so go ahead and take... You're out of the shop. Okay, that's all right, I'll just start right here. All right. All right, so now we have, what is this? Weed. Weed. It's ground up weed. It's ground up cannabis. All right, and now we have our file. So go ahead and take that file cap. You can set the flower down for now. Hold that. All right, so on the scale here, go ahead and press the on button. Okay, I'm out of All right, and then go ahead and place that empty lid right on that scale. Okay. Perfect. And then press the tear button. And it's a zero now, right? Yes. Okay. So now you have your flower here, right? And so we, we completed this step, so we'll press next, and it says add 100 milligrams of flour. So use our little lab scoop in one hand and that in the other hand, and then go ahead and add just a little bit of the time until the scale says 100. Yeah, keep going. So put in about double that. That's good, yep. Okay, so it says 0.5 now, so keep going. So we're gonna need about twice as much as this is now. Perfect, actually, okay, stop. So, go ahead and set that down now. And then press next again. And so it's asking you the exact weight 
that is on that scale. And what does it say? 106? 104. 104. Milligrams. So that's how many milligrams is on that scale right now of cannabis. And so we press the next button after we enter the weight into the machine. And now it's going to say, add the sample to the vial. So go ahead and take the vial in your left hand, and then go ahead and put that cap on the vial. And it's going to dump all that cannabis right into the vial. That's a perfect way to do it. Smart. I didn't even think I ever thought of that before. I'm getting taught things. Okay, so that's perfect. Now go ahead and press next. Six, add exactly 10 milliliters of solvent by filling the syringe one time. All right? So go ahead and set that down on its flat base right here in this cabinet. Gonna open that up. We're gonna grab you, syringe, young lady, okay? So go ahead and open that for us. Actually, here, I'll be your assistant, right? There we go, put those nails. So I'm gonna open this up for you, bada boom. Perfect. Now go ahead and put that onto the syringe port of the machine. Okay, now go ahead, I'm gonna have you do this. Just hold this and then pull up on it like that. And you're gonna fill it all the way up till 10. It's nice and steady. Yeah, it could be a little hard sometimes. Look at that. Negative pressure fills the tube up. Stop when you get to 10. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at that. So you actually overfill it a little bit, which is totally fine. Alright, so all we do is we just come over here and just flip this right out. Alright, so go ahead and flip that vial over for me, so it's sitting on the flat part, All right? perfect. And then this is going to say add exactly 10 milliliters. So open that lid up, take this in one hand, and go ahead and squirt it all in there, but you're going to have to do it gently. Yeah, just do it gently so it doesn't splash in your face. So just, there you go. Go ahead and put all of it in there. All the way, yep. Perfect. Okay, so go ahead and set that down. Go ahead and put your lid back on the vial. And it said tighten the cap and then place it on the shaker. Shake, shake, shake. All right, this little guy. So this is like your little strappy poo. Go ahead and put your uh, shaker on there, or the vial there. All right, and then I'll be your assistant and strap it down. Look at that. Here, we're gonna double team this. Now I get it. So this is just gonna be a little strap that holds this vial down while it shakes. And press the button. Ta-da! So now that solvent is dissolving and stripping all the THC and the other cannabinoids out into solutions so the machine can test it. So now that we've done that, we're pressing the button. I'm sure the valve that's a run. Yep. So now the system is zeroing, alright? For two minutes while this is dissolved in solvent for two minutes. And we'll be right back, right here. And we're back. Okay, young lady, what is the uh machine tell us to do now? Play syringe filter on sample. There is a syringe filter by chance. All right, so go ahead and install that right there. Just like you're doing, perfect. All right, so go ahead and press next. All right, so it says set to load. So go ahead and turn this dial to the green light. It says load. Couldn't be more straightforward. All right, so you did that, so go ahead and press next. Step three, fill the syringe with two mils of your extracted sample. So perfect. So grab this vial in your left hand, your syringe in your right. Go ahead, insert that down in there and suck it up. Only about three milliliters. Ah, syringe technique. Good job. Perfect. All right, yeah, just set that there. Uh, and then go ahead 
and so you press next, and it says connect the syringe to the syringe filter. Just go ahead and attach that there. Perfect, and now we say next. And it says slowly inject half a milliliter of extracted sample. All right, so that means you see where this syringe, or the minute, or where the plunger is now, it's about at three. Right. So go ahead and take that down to about in between two and three. Yeah, keep on going. No, that's great. Yeah, just leave it right there for now. All right. So we did that. Next, set valve to run. So turn this back to run. Perfect. And now we'll press next again. And we're going to go start. So press start. Okay. So. We're gonna go have a smoke, and in eight minutes, we'll come back, and we will tell you what the cannabinoid, <clears throat> what the cannabinoid composition of that flower was. And we'll see if it matches what the package. All right, Mia, so the machine has displayed its results for us here, the light lab, and the results are in, and the machine gave us a THC A composition of 10.5 and a CBD of 9.5, which is actually very close to the you know 11.9, 11.5% values that were on the package. So that would mean, Mia, that you pretty much got what you paid for. Isn't that cool? That's great. That's pretty awesome. So this is actually really great, and you know this flower that we bought from Berkeley's Patients Group, we tested out to pretty much be what it was labeled as. 10% CBT, 10% CBD and 10% THC. Uh, we have tested products now that don't match up to the label, and that's always really interesting um, to go back and then give people that feedback. We're bringing you, we'll be bringing you lots of other episodes, all right, where you know, me and I and other folks test cannabis from farms all around California, uh, and we'll be doing patient days at different dispensaries as well as going in and working with growers to let them bring a flower to test all over California on the fly uh, just for free as an interesting service to the Californians and it gives us some free publicity and helps us grow our business. Peace.